If you think about where you get health care and you imagine that on a school campus, that is what a lot of school-based health centers look like. The thing that makes school-based health centers different and unique is that they go beyond that kind of model of comprehensive health care, and they really extend care out into the school community. So they work outside of the walls of the school campus. They go out into classrooms to do health education. They go to PTA meetings to meet with parents and find out what their concerns are, to educate them about obesity or um, ADHD. They work with teachers so the teachers are able to spot health conditions in the classroom. And by extending the services in this way, they really emphasize prevention and become a resource to the school and deliver the kind of health care that, that all kids really need. There was a student, a, a boy in San Jose, who had been riding the bus to school every day for several years, and the bus driver noticed one day that he was stumbling as he was getting on and off the bus, and it just looked odd to him. So he, the, this district had a school-based health center. The bus driver was able to go to the health center, and the health center called the kid in, got his family involved, and started a series of tests. And after, you know, more, um, follow-up with specialists, it turned out that this boy had a brain tumor. And he would actually, this story had a happy ending, he was able to get surgery and he's, he's doing well. Um, this is the kind of thing that would be very difficult to make happen if you didn't have a school-based health center, because the bus driver would not have known who to turn to, and they would not have been able to get the family in in the way that they were able to. It makes sense for families because they can stay at work. It makes sense for the school because they're able to get kids the help that they need in order to keep them in school. It makes sense from the healthcare system standpoint because you're getting preventive care to kids earlier so that you're not seeing them in the emergency room, you are not seeing as much of uh, diabetes or other conditions that come when kids don't have healthy diet and don't have good physical activity. And then it makes sense from a societal standpoint because we all have a vested interest in kids doing well in school. And that those are those kids graduating from high school, going on to college or career, that's that's really the foundation of our future.